Good morning, all in favor of a pickle pal, raise your hand. Welcome back to Libra Light. This is your station for all things Libra, all things air signs, and uh, it's the post eclipse. It was quite, quite the eclipse that we had yesterday. I feel like it was the most powerful uh, in recent years. I mean, any other sign in the eclipse has not been like last night. Um, also, if you went out, maybe your eyes were a little strained too from your high vibrational spirit. We begin with a pick a pile this morning that's interesting. You guys saw it in the um, opening screenshot, which was what you clicked on. We're gonna begin with pile number one is the teacup. So I do wanna I do wanna do like a little meditation with you guys uh, briefly. This is almost like um, vintage, very Victorian teacup at the bottom because I read all the details. Actually, you can't because it's in Japanese. Maybe you like uh, Oriental or Japanese things. It's hand painted. So I want you to take a look and meditate if this is your pile. This is what you're in favor of and what you're working on through the eclipse, whether this is the self, this is harmony with your spiritual self, or there's romance and pentacles involved, okay? Those are the factors. And then you have this beautiful, kind of to match it, I just realized that there's a lot of flowers in the justice card. This is Libra energy. This was the first card on the flip, and of course, we're going to create the piles with you, okay? She's holding her sword there. She's kind of in her masculine energy. That could be something that you're releasing, letting go of. You're more in your masculine energy, or post-eclipse, you are thinking of the justice that's just been accomplished in your life. For some of you, something has returned from the past that is has always been yours in pile number one. We'll go to pile number two when we timestamp it, okay? So that's the teacup. I do see honor has been restored here. If you look to, it's a basket of the scales. So they both have been equalized. Equilibrium has been restored to this particular person. Could be masculine or feminine. What is this person in favor of? We're going to go with light seers first. And I, I don't have much to choose from this morning, but I'll bring out my decks for the weekend. Okay. At 212, the first pile. What are they in favor of? A tower. Okay, they welcomed a tower in this particular Libra did. They welcomed a tower, a sudden information, maybe even here a sudden romance for some. Um, this could have toppled an original foundation that was really rocky, didn't have a lot of stable roots. We have the tower with Aries and Scorpio energy, or maybe you perhaps heard from those signs. We have an eight of swords, restriction. That's a card of today. Okay, coming out of that. Also, the outdated thinking of yesterday's video, and we have something turning today. We're going to check the bottom of the deck, the next steps for this particular Libran. Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, another three with the Three of Cups, the Lavender card of reunions, people seeing you, perhaps your birthday coming up. There's a lot of socializing, okay, coming out of the bubble in the Seven of Wands. This is a very defensive card. I think this happened in the past. You have no reason to be here anymore. That's what the message is saying in this first video is you don't have reason to live here. Uh, no one put baby in a corner type of deal if you're an 80s baby. I see that you've come out of that seven and eight, which was here. They're different suits, but it's very defensive energy, even with the eight of swords. There's a lot of self-limiting beliefs. You come out and there's a lot of socializing, okay? Three of Cups is going to be a big card that you see in everybody's readings today, whether they're a general reader, whether uh, you watch an Intuit that has their own channel and they specify to particular signs, the Three of Cups is really nice and we want to clarify that. I don't know why, but I do get a sense and I just have to go with my main intuiting here or my primary feeling is that the Three of Cups is about it's almost like you're getting new love. It's a lot of new friendships. It's people that return from the past that are also healed. You find out about that as well. And that they are also on an awakened type of journey, even if they're not like fully into spiritual stuff or they're not esoteric. We have the King of Wands in pile number one. I want to end it there because we're going to do tons and tons of clarification. You guys know how I do my piles. Um, I'm getting a lot of threes and sevens in this particular uh, person's pile, which means it adds to a 10 later on completions. There's a three even here. Yeah, seven and three over here. Okay. I think that when I look at this bubble, it reminds me of a movie my nephews brought up a couple weeks ago. They were talking about, uh, let's watch the movie Bubble Boy with Jake Gyllenhaal. And I'm going to briefly talk about this here. 
his mother in the film pretends that he has an illness, which he doesn't have at all. It's just a person in his life, um, a female, that tells him that he's uh, sick with a debilitating, he has a lot of allergies and he's put in a bubble. And it's funny is that film is set in the town that I'm from. And so um, there's a little bit of a funniness in seeing this card because my nephews have been bugging me about Bubble Boy. And that movie was made in the early 2000s, okay? I see here that you come out of that and it's it's almost very welcoming for you near your birthday season. A lot of you are October 3 today. We'll do birthdays in the next video too. October 3 is a symbolic day of reuniting with a particular person or there's happiness here because the Three of Cups and emotions talks about a smile that's re-entering your life or it's this time, it calls for it, it's very necessary. So let's check that out because the, the threes are important here. It's about expansion with the Three of Wands. It's about seeing people, which is really heartwarming. Maybe the Libra needs this too with these two threes. And it's not a third party, this is about fun, okay? So I just want you to clear that out first before we go to pile number two. A card wanted to slip out Queen of Swords, but she was sideways. So definitely that uh, protective bubble, releasing it to have a little bit of fun here. Somebody could have been born on June 25 or 24 because that just flashed right now on my screen. So the, or June 26. So you could have been attached to a Cancerian, okay? Or you have cancer in your chart. Water sign energy. Let's see what goes on next. What's favorable? What are we working through? Another tower, okay? Could be the same one too. This is going to be a new phase of Libra's life. It's very shocking. It's very new. It's a revelation too. It could feel shocking as well. I'm getting something here too about documenting this time, being very specific to document, maybe even record uh, parts of your life during this phase, or maybe even just put it down in a diary. Um, this Libra is in favor of the tower is what's going on here because we have air sign energy favoring this Scorpio energy of transformation. And you're seeing all the Scorpio cards in our piles now too. Even in our main readings, we're getting transformation, butterflies, transmutation too. So this person is in, it's, they're welcoming this beautiful tower, which it shows up twice in eventual outcome. So is the tower the king of wands? Yes or no? The magician is a yes card. Understanding that this Libra also wants it too. They're looking for a King of Wands who's very excitable, romantic. The King of Wands also is fire, okay? There could be a dream here or a manifestation of a romance. And I think that that's what's going on. We could have a reunion set up in the future too. Queen of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. This person has stability to them. Also, I feel like they could be a rock for Libra in times that do get tough coming up or there's events that Libra needs somebody to lean on. You know, they can't work the, work um, alone. And that's what I wanted to say in this first pile because working alone can also be unfavorable so many days. We have a very stable character here. Masculine, masculine, masculine. Two King of Wands um, energies. Here's the other one. Just to pull it up and show you I have it live. They like the sensitive side of the Libra. I think that you're the queen of cups if you're resonating with the pile here. What's favorable is a romance in this pile is what we're finding. Libra is working on breaking old thoughts and uh, disconnecting, detaching from things that are self-limiting. Also, the tower can be that you speak to yourself different nowadays. You have a different mantra. You have different affirmations as well. Um, post-eclipse, this is going to hit you more than any other sign in a positive way. So that's beautiful. Welcoming the tower in the first pile. What's the likely outcome? Six of cups. Okay, that's interesting. The past is the outcome or a feeling to the past. There could be a slight reunion here before new things are kicked up, which is interesting because even though they're welcoming the tower, there's a little room here to reminisce and laugh about the past. Six of Cups. A song could be generated from this exact emotion or Libra sees totems of this, like a song replaying the last couple of days or could be a playlist is what I'm getting with the Six of Cups. It's almost like the cups are coming out as a playlist to me of songs, those white little cups at the feet of them in the Six of Cups. We have a new chapter. That's exactly what it welcomes in. This was the second flip 
on today's energy, which is October 3. So it generates a spark of imagination. Uh, the fire can also be somebody's libido too, which is really funny because it's coming off hormonal to me <laughs> in the Ace of Wands. And it looks like it's exciting. Okay, it's, it's melting the past and the future together. Um, a lot of you are going to say, give me an example of what that looks like. Well, the spark could be from somebody that does return from the past. They could be a past life soulmate or they have resonances of that. You can also study past life soulmates too on Divine Twin Soul channels. They offer a lot of information. I'll link my favorite one down below too. Not as a promo, but because I think that's something you should learn from. It's quite exciting. Temperance. It balances Libra, this other person. It can start off like... I get a pal, I do get a friendship, but it's more like this person is on the same alignment and road because I looked at the road beneath the temperance angel here. She's also wearing a lavender dress, wink, wink, and it seems like she's on the same trajectory or the path. I don't know if there's resilience here for this Libra because they're coming out as temperance energy, so they're very, very peaceful at this time in their life. And also, I want to mention most days they create their own happiness. They do not need a partner necessarily. 1122 on the clock, you could be seeing combinations of those types of numbers. I like to say it. The hermit, okay, in green, high priestess. The sleeper knows what's going on. They can even feel inflections of it changing, okay? Perhaps the eclipse was the significator for this event. Lovers, it doesn't even lie. Let's see what's behind the lovers though. Five of Pentacles, someone eventually could be left out of this news or they don't know anything about it at this current time. They're not in this story, okay? They're outside looking in. Not that the Libra wants them to feel that. I just think it's picking up Five of Pentacles energy, okay? So this ends this pile and this cup could be the Ace of Cups. That's kind of what I'm getting or it could be rejuvenating as Libra sips from it lately. I think that that is what the main message is, is life goes on. Life is going to continue to go on. And, ooh, nice. In the Woodland Gardens again. She could be the queen of the Ace of Cups. Maybe she protects this as well. I know she's Capricorn, but she could start to be filling up those emotions slowly by slowly as the eclipse starts, which is, I think that's a nice message because most of us have not been there in a long time or we haven't resurfaced in that area in a long time. So I'll put these back because they'll be my clarifiers for the next reading. And as you can see, I have the deck there. I will do more shuffling and we respectfully put away the header cards for this. Uh, okay, I have like really, really long hair in my mouth right now. I'm sorry, Libras. For pile number two, it's, it's live. So we got to do it this way. We have um, a cylindrical, beautiful green vase it's coming off like um almost like how the glass blowers do it okay and at the bottom there's no message so it's empty for pile number two which is 1320 we have the three of pentacles so your next favorable outcome is that you work with others you're generating networking some of you could be studying something new and the three of pentacles is collaborators you might be starting a business even with this Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. You could have it in your chart too. So what is favorable if you picked... Green also is uh, the color of insight. It's very, very intellectual. It's very strong. It could be your favorite color too if this was your pile. Three of Pentacles, let's get it started. Can I shuffle for the Libra watching under the eclipse energy? Put the eclipse energy in the cards too, please. And thank you guys for watching today. I feel like three is significant because uh, the three of pentacles definitely is in the number of the card as well as the emotion of it because in pentacles it talks about earnings. It talks about what you're generating. So this person's moving on to a new chapter of making more money and the pentacles are the focus. Okay, what's favorable please? Temperance. Very nice and you guys saw I shuffled quite a bit. Temperance with Sagittarius. This Libra could be a Sagittarius moon or a Sagittarius rising. I feel like you're very patient waiting for these things to come in. 1444 on the monitor. I also, oh, 14 is Temperance. That's really cool. 14 is the Temperance card. 
I feel like you're balancing out. It's not quite there yet if you're pile number two because there's a surprise. I even feel it intuitively. What's coming in, please? The sun. For monetaries, it could mean that there's more abundance. Um, you could be moving to a new place, Leo energy of success. Also, it's enlightening. So you come across a bright idea in pile number two. What's favorable is this is going to have sun energy to it. Could be the next couple of weeks as well. What is the third spot? Page of Wands. It is sideways, so this Libra could have a child or there's a connection to a younger person of significance is what Spirit's telling me to say. Page of Wands is somebody who's going to be delivering something important to the story, okay? This could be an opportunity or this person speaks up about something that Libra needs to know about. Page of Wands energy, very cool. Why is it so positive? Okay, it's a rebirth for this particular pile. That could be where Libra's lo relocating to, where the Page of Wands actually lives. Or this Page of Wands has a particular piece of information, like I said, where this rebirth will occur, okay? Um, if some of you are resounding with that because you're separated right now from your child and you are moving to them, or there's something to that effect, that rebirth is going to prove as very positive. In the reading with death being favorable, is the rebirth is going to happen regardless. We have collaborators that are willing to help this Libra out. Why is, can I ask the why? Seven of Swords. Lots of research has already been done. This is a research and development card. Now, this could involve, I don't know why I'm getting something about an X, but the Seven of Swords can also reveal that this has been a very watched and studied place to go or there's something about it creating balance in this reading because we do have Sagittarius energy. Temperance means that patience leads to a balanced effort or this Libra is protected in this particular effort or maybe even protected from a Seven of Swords person, okay? Um, is there anything else we need to know? Ten of Swords, so the worst is over. The Ten of Swords talks about this new chapter doesn't have betrayal attached to it. Also, what's really cool about this in our birthday month is if this was experienced in August or September, the lessons have already been learned. The eclipse proved that the lessons have been healed through or you're at least working towards it. Three of Pentacles work, Ten of Swords, it doesn't occur again. You've reached the end of it with the Ten of Swords, okay? Um, we do have the Empress, which is a very lucrative person in this pile. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This pile also had the Wheel of Fortune, which is crazy because it's really hard to generate that major arcana energy one more time. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here, positive turn of events. I think for some reason, this does involve like moving state to state. This is a different opportunity. This could be in a different county even. It shows that a lot of development has gone on with this particular card which is your card. It's one of your main major arcanas next to justice. Justice is just about things being set right. The empress is the person that's working behind it. I think a lot of efficiency and efficacy is happening because the tough times prove to be with wrong people or the wrong opportunities, ten of swords. Can't even be clearer than that because the card shows up today as uh, the focus in the recent past. That's why the sun is here too in pile number two. Five of Cups, definitely this person, this person missing Taurus or Libra here is a Five of Cups. So they will be leaving behind perhaps um, a group of people that have been dishonoring or disapproving or haven't been very helpful. Um, the Libra leaves behind a Five of Cups era, okay? The happiness, that's so crazy. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, the outcome, let's do this. The outcome after the birthday of this particular, maybe glasses, like something you do like to work with or you're very hands-on and crafty. Um, the business could involve something like that too, Libras. So you might be generating income from something that you make. What is this Empress going to be finding out in this new place? We have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the Nine of Pentacles, more lucrative opportunities right there with Virgo. Super practical as well. I think the south node is in Virgo, but I'll check that when it switches to Pisces in Virgo. And we do have a reversed 
no more self-limiting beliefs. This Libra releases it into the air and doesn't hold themselves back too. This is a huge card of I'm not holding myself, myself back. I'm going forward and I'm not self-limiting, okay? Which is, it's a big people-pleasing problem of Libras in the sun sign energy. We, we do that. I've even been guilty of that too. Uh, in my life, lots of people pleasing, especially in my family. <laughs> okay, too honest. Uh, Emperor said the last bit here. What's the last surprise? The moon. Something awaits them there that's a mystery. I do think that Libra uncovers this. It's almost like a package when they get there. The moon in the last spot is usually, yes, it's a mystery. But I think this Empress is ready to uncover it wherever they move to or where this opportunity resides. Now, the thing here is that the Empress has to follow through with that Wheel of Fortune, okay? Both piles had it as well, which is interesting because the Wheel of Fortune was in the Generals yesterday. And we have you here looking at the moon. Let's just see what the possibility could be. Give me one card for what that moon card could be. Holy, and I almost said, holy shit, <laughs> it is the Two of Cups, was the only flipper that I got it's love when they get there and the moon reveals some type of friendship or there's somebody waiting on the other end that's a two of cups some of you have written me what's interesting about pile number two is you've written me and you've told me this actually ended up happening very recently okay so for some of you this has already been partially experienced we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck sagittarius uh very positive in their sun sign energy which is rushing in with new ideas and passion, energy, vigor, and an old chapter closes with the world. I do want to thank you for your time. The October 3 birthdays will be announced in the next reading, which is a soulmate cycle reading. I will be back later with those birthdays. I will return to you and happy birthday, October 3 Libras. I will see you guys later in a video coming up in the afternoon.